Hey everybody, Chris here. Just wanted to give you a quick update. Today we are rebuilding a head. So this is the, um, I think it's a BP4W uh, Mazda Miata head. Um, basically, I guess the one that people want. Right now I'm going through and I'm replacing all of the uh, valve seals. As you can see, we got new seals down in there. Uh, way to get those out, take a pair of pliers, pull them out. Uh, the next thing that we did is uh, took this head outside and made myself a little invention of a uh, pretty much just a it's it's an old punt gun that I used to spray bed liner uh, or some Raptor liner on something and I converted it with a Snapple bottle and uh, put some baking soda in it and as you can see from this video. It works pretty well. So, as you can see here with this head, underside, all nice and clean, got all those carbon deposits off. A uh, really good starting point for our refresh. Again, this is just a refresh, so getting all the carbon out. The next step then is to uh, take the valves that we took out, go ahead and clean those. polish them up, make them look all brand new, get all the carbon off of them, and then we're going to go ahead and rebuild this entire thing. One thing that I did not know, however, and I'm glad that I uh, looked it up because I didn't even know this was a thing, I have solid lifters. So we're going to go through, uh, this does not have the hydraulic plunger, okay, see, it does not have the hydraulic plunger, instead what you do is you've got these shims on top, uh, you can go ahead and take these out. So you can take these out and uh, make them different heights based off of what you need. I can get to focus. There we go. So we can take that shim out, put a different shim in. We'll play around with them a little bit, make sure that the uh, they have the right lift and everything. But yeah, so solid lifter, no uh, hydraulic tap it noise to worry about. So once we get those in, we'll go ahead and check them against the camshafts and uh, see what our clearances are. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and put the valves back in. As you can see, I've got all my intake valves lined up. This is just one of those cheapo Amazon um, spring compressors. And this is the part that kind of is a pain in the butt. And there's probably some better videos out here for this exact part. But here at the top of the valve, let me get my finger around here. The top of the valve, there's little chamfers on both sides. That's where uh, the keepers go. So basically this holds it down, and then you're gonna put your little keepers back. As you can see, I got everything lined up for uh, intake and exhaust side and keeping everything exactly where it went uh, and every piece with the same pieces that came off. So these are the keepers. You put those onto the valves. Okay, now that we've got everything kind of back together, I just basically put um, two lifters in, uh, the little lifter buckets, and now, because this is a um, 1999, it does not have hydraulic roller lifters, it has um, solid, so we need to go ahead and check the um, tolerances here. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm looking for about 12 thousandths, which is this middle one here of um, clearance, so we'll check with 11 thousandths, and yes, 11 thousandths. I'm sorry, that's 13. We will check with 11 thousandths. And yes, the 11 thousandths goes under there just fine. Then we'll check with 12 thousandths. 12 thousandths is definitely snug. And then our 13. So we check the 13, and 
that won't go under. So I know that they got 12 thousandths of uh, clearance there. Basically what I want to do is I want to go ahead and putting on the front um, cap as well as the cap for the one that I'm checking. You check it without having any of the other lifter buckets in. Uh, so in that way there's no uh, pressure upwards. To make sure just to torque these to spec. So now that these are torqued down, I know that these buckets are good. Don't need anything to, to be adjusted. If I did need to adjust things, uh, one thing that I could do is potentially you know, mark which one was maybe short or too tall, and then um, further down the road, if I've got one that's too short or too tall, try and change them around to uh, get within that spec. Uh, but for the uh, intake side, I've already done that, and it was all uh, really, really close, so perfectly fine for the type of motor we're building here. All right, guys, so that is the head rebuilt. Um, as you can see, the inside, I mean, I didn't sonic clean this thing or anything like that. Just really going through, making sure everything's kind of cleared out, cleaning the combustion chambers, going through and um, making sure all the valves are within spec and everything. One of the big things that you'll probably want to purchase before doing this entire product project is a lot of brake parts cleaner. So you really got to soak everything down, clean everything off, and make sure that you've got everything uh, cleaned out. God, my camera will not focus. So, but once you get that done, um, honestly, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a fresh head, it's got new seals and everything in it, this thing should be good to go another, you know, couple hundred thousand miles if, if uh, taken care of. So, we'll go ahead and get this back to uh, onto the t new short block and uh, get it back put in the car. Thanks for joining.